Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we will see the basic keywords of SQL that is select, distinct, where, and, uh, or, order by. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a schema and a table. So this is the schema that we have created. First schema and then the tables that we have created. Okay, I have modified the table so that it will be more helpful uh, in uh, showing all these keywords. Okay, and then to make the schema default, because remember whenever we write any query, if you have a number of schemas, we write uh, schema dot and then the table name. But if you want to write the table name directly, then you can right click on the schema, set as default schema. So the next time you can just say select from this particular uh, table. You don't have to say schema dot table. Okay, now coming to the select statement. The select statement, what it does is, it selects, there are two ways. Uh, if you say star, then it retrieves all the information that is in the table, all the columns. Then if you specify any particular columns that you want to select, the word itself says that it selects. It selects a particular column that you want to retrieve. Okay, or select star. Let's say select star, because I don't know what are the column names right away. Then I say from. From is the keyword which is used. So what are you selecting from? So what table are you selecting from? My table name is contacts. Remember in previously we used to say first schema dot contacts. But here you can directly say select star from contacts. And then select execute the query. So this is the table that you see right in here. So this is how you select keyword is used to select uh, from the table contacts. And star says retrieve all the information. But if you want to retrieve only some specific information, only specific columns, you can say select F name from contacts. And then select execute. You see only F name. So these are the two different ways of using the select star or the column name. Okay. And then uh, the next would be distinct. What is distinct does is it returns only uh, different values. Like you can say select distinct uh, distinct values and then you need to specify the column name. What are the distinct values from the column name? I would say L name. Okay. And from what table? From context table. Okay. And then execute. These are the distinct names. What are the distinct values that it considers? Because uh, let's see, let's say star, select star from contacts. Okay, right in here, you can see that Guntur, Guntur is used for two different first names and then these two is used for two different first names and these are all used for these different names. But distinct are only these values are distinct. So that is if you want distinct values. So just use the keyword distinct. Select distinct from the column name from the table. Okay. That is a use distinct. Yeah, okay. And then the next would be where. So if you want to extract uh, only some particular records by specifying any condition like where the first name is this or the last name is Gunto, retrieve this information. Then mostly for the clauses, you would be using the where keyword. That is select. If you say select star from contacts, it just retrieves all the columns. But if I want to specify any particular condition, I would say where is the keyword that I use. And then the condition has to be specified like column name and any operation that you want. I would say last name is equal to cut because we have seen there are n number of first names. Okay, select and then execute. So it retrieves only got to right in here. So where is used for the clause? If you want to specify any clause, then you use the keyword where. And then and or or. So in the where clause itself, if you want to specify two conditions, two or n number of conditions, and uh, there are two different ways again, and or, the name itself says. And means if you want the condition both on the left side and the right side to be satisfied, then you give me the results. That would be and. Or as any one would be true, give me the results. That is select star from contacts 
where L name is equal to Gato. I would say and here is the one. Let me just say S R I Shri is the first name. And where F name is equal to S R I Shri. Okay, and then select execute the query. Once you execute the query, it says that the table first schema dot contact does not exist. Oh, I'm sorry, it says contacts select contacts. It was contact. That is the error that it is showing. Execute. You see, Sri Ghetto. So if you want to specify both these two conditions. Like, oh, if the first name is Shri and Gatu, then bring me the whole table. Okay, so instead of end, if we say or, so anyways, even if Gatu is there, even if Shri is there, just bring me the values. You see, that and clause is different and or clause is different. It brings all the last names and the related first names. So and says that on this condition on the left side has to be true and even the right on the true has to be true. But R says any one of them, the left or right, can be true. Just bring me the context. Okay. And the other one would be that we'll be discussing the last one would be the order by. So this order by is mostly used to sort. If you want to sort the result set that we want, then we use the keyword order by. Usually the default the way that it sort is ascending order, but there is also some way that you can specify. Don't do the ascending to the descending. But if you don't specify anything, it would just do the descending order. See an example. Uh, let's just copy and paste this and say order by which column do you want to order by? F name. Okay, let's see what is default as we said as ascending. Execute. 10 rows return and see the first name is it, it is given the first f name information as per the order of this ascending it gives the value of all the different columns but as I said the default is ascending but if you want it to be descending then say descending okay and then execute if you say descending order you say this is the order. So, so what this condition is, select this or select all the columns from the contacts table and order by the first name that is the column. Order by the column in the descending order. So, the first name has to be ordered in the descending order. After that, bring me all the columns con all the columns from the contacts table that is ordered by. But if you don't specify descending, the default is set to ascending. Okay, I hope this tutorial is helpful. Uh, thank you.